All right. Well, welcome. Great to have you joining me and practicing. And let's get started. When you're ready, just take the time to settle. And lie back, you close your eyes, and you breathe. Taking the time to slow down. Taking the time to make that transition from everything you've been doing today to the practice. Continuing to practice that transition, that shift of your mindset, from being focused externally, projecting it, to now taking the time to turn our awareness in, to notice that simple rhythm of the breath, noticing the sensation of the body as it lies back in stillness. Take just a few more breaths, just a few more moments out of the day. And your next inhale is a nice deep, full inhale. You fill the belly, fill the chest, and as you're ready, release the breath, drawing your knees in. You wrap your arms around your shins, hugging your thighs tight, as you gently rock from side to side. Then coming back to center, hands behind your knees as you rock from the tailbone to the shoulder blades. Nice long one, nice smooth rhythm, back and forth. And the next inhale draws you up to sitting. You sit tall. The back of the neck is long, the eyes remain closed. You take a moment. And on inhale, you rise up. Tadasana. You find your balance. The feet are firm, shoulders back. The eyes are closed. Then palms together to your heart. And on inhale, you take the arms up, lengthening. Exhale as you fold forward over your 
You get the hands to the floor and inhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Left foot back, plank pose. And exhale as you lower towards the floor. Inhale forward for your back, bend nice and open across the collarbone. Exhale, pressing the hips back and up. Down dog. You settle. You take any movement you like. Finding those lines of the body. Waking things up. Then inhale, right foot forward, low lunge. Exhale, left foot forward, folding over your legs. And inhale as you rise all the way back, full extension. And exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left leg reaches back, low lunge. Right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, lowering. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale, pressing back down dog. Finding your rhythm. Finding your breath. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right foot. Inhale, rising, reaching up. Exhale, hand to your heart. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, right leg reaches back. Left leg back. Exhale, as you look. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, down dog. You let the head hang in. The hips are high and the palms firm to the floor. Nice and grounded. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, rise and reach. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Right foot back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, fold. Exhale back. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg back. Left leg back. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Take the time to feel the body waking up, warming up. All those major muscle groups, all the major joints, flexing and extending. Putting yourself right here. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, rising. Exhale, hands to your Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Right. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale.
Inhale, exhale, right? Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to your heart. You relax the arms, you close your eyes if they will. Tadasana. Now with the big toes, close heels apart. Bend the knees, drop the hips, and sweep the arms, chair -tops. You sit your hips as low as you like to go. Feel and ground. The hips sit back slightly. The tailbone draws under. Then on exhale, the legs straighten out as you fall forward. And you catch hold of whatever you got, toes, ankles, shins. The head hangs heavy. Your weight drifts forward towards the top edge of the mat just to touch so that you feel steady from toe to heel. Rather than having all your weight sitting in your heels. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, float or step back. Down dog or vinyasa. Then a gentle bend in the knees. Look between your hands and inhale, float or step to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, you rise all the way back. Full extension. Exhale, hands to your heart. And lifting that left leg as you open up wide, setting up for triangle pose. So the right toes point forward, the left foot's parallel to the back edge of the mat. Arms open into a T. Then keeping that right hip hugging underneath as you reach out over that right leg and you hinge up. Your right hand lands down, left arm reaches up. You get that nice sense of broadening out, spreading out the body, actively reaching from hand to hand. Foot to foot, crown to head to tail. Those three long lines. And on your next inhale, let that right knee bend as you rise up, warrior two. You adjust your stance as you need. That front knee is bending as close to 90 degrees as you like. The hips sit low and they sit level. There's a tendency here to let that right hip sit a little bit lower than that left one to get that hiking in the backside. So you try and level off those hips. The torso then sits neutral as you open up across the left of the body. And staying low and open as you reach forward for side angle, right elbow to thigh, or hand at the floor. That left arm goes nice and long overhead, bicep next to the ear. You can stay there or wrap that left arm behind your back, catching that inner right thigh, or catching hands for the full body. Exhale your left hand to the floor and step back plank pose, top of a push up. Then we're rolling to the left for side plank, left hand out or to left foot. You can always lower that bottom knee, lift that top arm or leg. Nice strong lateral line. Pressing the floor away, active with that left arm. And on exhale, you bring that right hand down, moving through a vinyasa, going straight to down dog. Then a gentle bend in the knees, look up between the hands and float or step to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, rising all the way back. Exhale, hands to your heart. The right leg will lift as you open up wide, setting up for triangle pose. Left toes point forward, right foot's parallel to the back edge of the mat. 
arms open into a T, and then you reach forward. Letting that left hand land down wherever's comfortable. That right arm reaching up. And again, you get that sense of broadening, spreading the body out. Nice smooth transition. That left knee starts to bend as the torso lifts up. Warrior two. Leveling those hips. Opening up across the left. The eyes are soft as you settle in. Then reaching forward for side angle, left elbow to left thigh or hand to the floor. And that right arm goes long overhead to start. You feel that length at the, the top line. And if you want to wrap that arm, catching the inner thigh or catching hands, feel free to go as deep as you like. But maintain that length. And the crown of the head reaching forward, the chin away from the chest. And exhale that right hand down as you step back, plank pose. Then roll into the right side, plank. Outer edge of that right foot, the right hand. Maybe lifting that left arm, maybe lifting the left leg. You find your balance on the edge. And you breathe. Nice full inhales. Complete exhale. And then exhale, left hand to the floor as you press back down, dog, or move through a vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, you step the foot forward, high lunge. You settle into that stance. Nice long line from thigh to thigh. And bring the palms together, thumbs to your heart as you twist to the right. Revolve side angle. Taking that left elbow outside that right thigh. You can always open those arms or bind behind the leg if you like. But you get that nice deep twist. Using the breath to help you work the torso around. Good, one more breath. And on inhale, you come back to center, high lunge. The arms reach up, hips and chest are squared with the top edge of the mat. Then exhale as you bring the hands to the floor inside that right foot for a lizard. I'm gonna keep that left knee lifted today, making this a more active lizard. So the left heel presses back as the torso starts to bow towards the floor. Maybe you get one forearm to touch down, maybe both do. Letting the body sink down towards the ground while you keep your legs active, your hips hot. Inhale, rising up to straight arms. Keep the hands inside that right foot as you step that left foot forward outside your left hand. Coming into a squat. The hips sink. We're going to be here for a little bit, so if it bothers your knees or hips, you can always sit yourself down. But you let those hips hang if you're in squat. That deep flexion at the hip. And from here, we're going to straighten that right arm out. Right hands on the floor. 
The right knee stays behind the right upper arm as that left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Nice open twist. You can wrap that right elbow in front of that right shin, your left arm behind your back, catching hands outside that right hip if you like. And coming back to center, we're going into curl pose. If you know it, you go right into it, otherwise one step at a time. You start by spreading your fingers, palms flat onto the floor about shoulder distance. The hips lift, but as you start to bend your elbows and knees, your knees touch your upper arms. And once they do that, you just start to lean forward, shifting those elbows up. You feel your center move. Your weight shifts from your feet to your hands. And with your next exhale, you either float or step the feet back, down dog or vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg lifts, and exhale, you step the foot forward, high lunge. Once you're set with your stance, palms together, thumbs to your heart, and you twist to lift. Revolve side angle. Work in those arms as you like, broadening, binding around that thigh as you go tighter. Inhale, back to center, high lunge. Take your time. You set it up. Then exhale, hands to the floor inside that left foot for lizard. Right leg staying active as you start to sink the hips. One form, maybe both. The head hands. Inhale, rising up to straight arms. Keeping the hands inside that left foot as that right foot steps forward, coming into a squat. You sit yourself down if that works better. Then when you're ready, that left arm straightens out. Hands down, left knee stays behind the left upper arm, but you can press that left upper arm back against that left thigh as that right arm and right side of your torso sweeps open to the ceiling. Maybe binding around your back and in front of that shit, catching hands outside that left hip. Then back to center, curl pose once again. Fingers spread, palms flat, hips lift, the knees and elbows start to bend so those knees touch your upper arms. And then you just start to lean forward, shifting your body weight out in front. The toes get light.
And on an exhale, you float or step down dog or moving through the vinyasa. Gentle bend in your knees. You look up between your hands and inhale, float or step to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, you rise all the way back up. Full extension. And exhale, hands to your heart. And relax the arms, close your eyes if they've opened. Tadasana. Bring the palms together, heart center. Gesture of balancing the body and mind as we make our way into Eagle Pose. So your weight starts to shift to the right. That left knee bends, and you cross that left thigh over top of the right. Those left toes can touch down, they can hover, or they tuck. And letting your hips sit as low as you like to go. When you feel steady with those legs, you add the arms out in front. It'll be that left elbow underneath the right. Cross the elbows, twist your tie the forearms. Trying to lift those elbows to shoulder height without bending your back. And untying just your arms, hands come to your heart as you're going to sweep that left leg and step it back, warrior. The left toes touch, the heel spins in, that right knee bends as close to nine degrees as you like, as you bring the arms up overhead. And straining out the right leg. Take the arms behind the back and you're either going to take a reverse pair of palms together, fingers point up, or you grab opposite elbows. Keeping the hips and chest squared at the top edge of the mat, that right leg straight. On an exhale, you fold forward over that right leg for pyramid. My strong, active legs. The feet firmly pressing down, holding your hips in place as your torso reaches long out over that right thigh. And on exhale, release the hands to the floor, framing that right foot. And step that left foot forward next to the right. Then letting your weight shift forward so the heels peel up, you slide your hips down to match your wall, and you come to balance on the balls of your feet. Hands to your heart. As you feel steady here, you twist to the right, taking that left elbow outside that right thigh. You can open those arms up. Good, inhale back to center. And on exhale, you fold forward as you straighten those legs up, folding over your legs at the top of the mat. Then inhale, rising all the way back up, full extension. And exhale, hands to your heart. You relax your arms, take a breath. And palms together. The weight starts to shift to lift. Gentle bend in that knee as that right thigh lifts and crosses over top for eagle. The right toes can touch, they can hover, or they tuck. And let those hips sit down into it, especially if you feel wobbly, the tendency to kind of straighten out that left leg and you start to lock it in place. It's only gonna make you feel wobbly. With that knee bent, the hips sit, you get a little more spring to it. And when you feel steady with those legs, you add the arms. It'll be that right elbow underneath the left this time. 
Cross the elbows, twist to tie the forearms. Trying to lift the elbows to shoulder height. Trying to sit those hips as low as you like to go. And untying just the arms, hands to your heart, and let that right leg sweep back and step back. Warrior one. Right toes touch down, right heel spins in, the arms reach up. Hips and chest are trying to stay square with the top edge of the mat. And left knee is bent as close to 90 degrees as you like. And straightening out that left leg. Take the arms behind your back. Reverse prayer, palms together, fingers pointing up, or grabbing opposite elbows. Get broad across the collarbone. Keep the hips and chest squared forward. And exhale as you fold out over that left leg. Pyramid pose. Exhale, release the hands, and you step that right foot forward next to the left, folding over your legs. And roll your weight forward to peel the heels, and you sit your hips down. You find your balance on the balls of your feet, and palms together to your heart. As you feel steady, you twist to the left. Right elbows outside that left thigh. The palms together helping to draw you around. Or as you get deeper into the twist, you open those arms up into a T, broadening out from hand to hand. And back to center. And on exhale, you let the legs straighten as you fold out a little. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands as you float or step back. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale as you step the foot forward. Warrior one. Left heel spins in, torso sweeps up. Then straightening that right leg, right hand, right hip, setting up a revolve triangle. Left arm's gonna guide you forward and you go about halfway, and then you twist. The left hand lands down, the right arm reaches up. Stack in the shoulders, opening from hand to hand. Feeling long from the crown of the head to your tailbone. Then inhale, coming back to center, hands to your heart. As you take one big step, drawing that left knee forward. Standing tall on your right leg. 
From here, we're going into campus pose. So the left knee opens up, and you place that right ankle just above your, I'm sorry, that left ankle just above your right knee, making a figure four with your legs. As you feel steady, you can start to sit those hips down. You can take your arms up overhead, challenging your balance. You can fold into that shin, giving you a nice stretch at that left hip. Or you let your weight start to shift forward so that you can peel that right heel, sitting your hips down, coming into your tiptoe balance. Trying to bring your hands back to your heart, balancing on that right foot. One more breath. And wherever you are, you're just going to place that left foot on the floor and rise up. Tadasana. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Get the hands to the floor as you step that left foot back, low lunge. Then grounding your palms, you're going to just press the ground away to place that right knee on the floor as you slide that left leg back, setting it for pigeon pose. The hips sink, the torso can lift up for your pigeon variations, or you drape yourself forward over that right calf. Inhale, rising up. From here, we're going to rock over to that right hip. I'm going to take that right shin, and if it's not already, draw it forward so that right shin is parallel with the top edge of your mat. Then draw that left thigh forward so that your left thigh is parallel with your right shin, which is parallel with the top edge of the mat, setting up for our pinwheel twist. And what we're ultimately looking for is 90 degrees at that right knee, 90 degrees from thigh to thigh, and 90 degrees at that left knee. Then that right hand's on the floor behind. That left arm actively reaches up as you twist to the back. Trying to look over that right shoulder to see that left foot behind you. And actively reaching up with that left arm so you get that nice long spiraled set lateral stretch from that left hip all the way up through the underarm. And coming back to center, you relax your arms. We're going to take that right leg straight out in front of us now and just sweep that left foot out, bring that left foot to the inner right thigh. Tidying up for Jonas Shoshasana A. The arms reach up. You square yourself with that right thigh as you fold forward over. Then inhale, lift up halfway. Turn your right palm to face up and place the back of your right hand on the floor inside your right leg. As you take a nice big sweep with that left arm overhead for revolve, Janu Shashasana. That left hand is working towards those right toes. But you can catch hold of the toes or you can keep it hovered. But you reach long with that left arm overhead. Then inhale, rising. Relax your arms as you cross your ankles and roll forward. Down dog or vinyasa. Inhale the left leg. And exhale, you step the foot forward. Warrior one.
Then straightening out that left leg, left hand to left hip, right hand guide you forward about halfway, and you rotate. Right hand lands down, left arm reaches up, revolve triangle. Good, inhale, coming back to center, hands to your heart. And you take one big step, drawing that right knee forward, standing tall on your left leg. And laying that left thigh externally, ro or that right thigh, I'm sorry, externally rotate. The right ankle is placed just above your left knee, making your figure four. And maybe starting to bend into that left knee, sitting the hips. The arms lift up, one-legged chair. Maybe you fold into that shin, in that nice stretch to that right hip, or you start to shift your weight forward so that left heel can peel, and you sit your hips down, coming to balance on the ball of that left foot, trying to bring your hands back to your Nice and easy, wherever you are. You just place that right foot down as you rise. Tadasana. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Then getting your hands to the floor so that right foot can step back, low lunge. You plant the palms to press down and lift that left foot up so that you can place that left knee on that, setting up for pigeon. The right leg slides back, the torso stays lifted, or you drape yourself forward over that left calf. Inhale as you rise up. So again, we're setting up for pinwheel twist. We rock to the left. Then bring that left shin forward to start so that it's parallel to the top edge. Then drawing that right thigh forward so that right thigh is parallel with that left shin. And look for 90 degrees at the left knee, 90 degrees from thigh to thigh, and 90 degrees at that right knee. Then the left hand's on the floor behind you. Right arm reaches up. And being active with that right arm as you reach up and twist to get that nice long lateral stretch, that spiraling stretch. It starts down here in the low back on the right side and wraps its way all the way. And back to center. That left leg will go straight. And just sweep that right leg out front. Johnny Shashasana. Right foot's on the inner left thigh. The arms reach up. Slight twist so you're lined up with that left leg as you fold forward over. And inhale, lifting up halfway. Left palm faces up. Left hands on the floor inside the left leg. Revolve, Janu Shashasana. Nice big sweep with that right arm overhead. As that right hand aims for that left foot, the other catches hold or hovers. 
but you're active, reaching with that right side. And again, working into that lateral stretch here. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, relax your arms. Cross the ankles as you roll forward. Down dog, go vinyasa. Then a gentle bend in the knees. Look forward of your hands and on an inhale, you float or step to sitting at the top of the mat. Your hips are down, your legs come through. Paschimottanasana. The legs are straight, the arms reach up, and exhale as you fold forward, catching hold of whatever you got. You bow your head, close your eyes. Inhale as you reach out, rising up. Sweep the arms around in front, parallel to the floor. And exhale as you lower down onto your back. Come to lie flat. Once down, you take a breath. Then preparing for three rounds of back bend. So the knees bend, the feet are flat. The arms can stay alongside the body for bridge. Or hands to the floor above your shoulders for upward facing bone. And on your next inhale, you press down into your feet to lift the hips, low back, middle back, upper back if you like. And exhale, lowering down. Nice full breath. And inhale, rising once again. And exhale, relax. Third and final one, on and inhale. You press down to go. And exhale, lowering down. Once you come down, you just draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Nice tight squeeze. And taking the arms alongside the body, palms flat, legs go straight up. You can hang out there or shoulder stand, toes towards the floor beyond your head. Once the hips lift, bend the elbows, hands against your back as you send the legs up to the ceiling. A few more breaths if you want any variations. Wiggling the toes or on the ankles. Turn the legs wide, scissor them apart. Whatever you like, just playing with the hip joint a bit. Or legs suspended in air. Then if you're in shoulder stand, coming back to center. Toes towards the floor beyond your head for plow. Hips are high, low backs open. You release the hands, fingers point forward, and nice and smooth you unwrap. Come to lie flat on your back. Once down, the arms are alongside the body, preparing for fish. You press into your hands and elbows. Lift the torso. The shoulders roll back, and you release the crown head towards the floor behind.
And exhale, lowering down. You draw your knees into your chest, you wrap your arms around your shins. Nice tight squeeze. And take the arms into cactus arms, elbows bent 90 degrees. And you release the knees over to the left. One final twist. And gravity do all the work. Coming back to center and over to the right. Coming back to center and on exhale, you either extend the legs, Shavasana, or tuck your hands behind your knees as you catch your right up for a headstand. If you're doing headstand, you take your time. You start on your hands and knees, lowering down onto your forearms. You grab opposite elbows, then keeping the elbows as they are, you bring the hands out, interlace the fingers, palms are apart. You place the crown of the head on the floor, cupping the back of the head into your hands. When you feel ready, curl your toes and lift your knees. When you start to walk the feet towards the elbows, lifting the hips high. You find your foundation with those forearms and shoulders active. When you're ready to go upside down, you draw one knee in towards your chest, heel towards your head, then the other. And as you feel steady in this low position, you then just take your legs straight up. You stay up as long as you want, coming down the same way you went up whenever you're done. Find your Shavasana when you're ready. Slowly being taken deeper, inhales, more active exhales. Gently waking the body back up. You start to work the fingers and toes. You roll the wrists and ankles, arms and legs. 
and turn the palms flat down onto the ground, gripping the floor as you inhale, grounding yourself. And exhale as you draw your knees into your chest, you wrap your arms around your shins. Then you rock over to your right side. You rest there for a moment in the seat of full potential. And as you're ready on inhale, you slowly rise up to sitting. You come into a comfortable seated posture. The spine is tall, shoulders are back. Chest lifted, heart is open. The back of the neck is long and the eyes remain closed. And palms together at heart center, thanking yourself and each other for being here. Clear mind, peaceful mind. Peaceful speech, loving speech. Loving heart, clear heart. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me. Always great to practice with you and hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.